Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Social. We're your host, Ricky and Stuff. What up, what up, what up? And today on Movie Social, we're going to be doing a spoiler review for the Netflix movie, Things Heard and Seen. Yeah, I know. I know. Quite a title. But before we actually get into that review, if you like what we're doing on this channel with these reviews, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the channel video with your family and friends. And also don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Alright, so maybe some things should not have been seen or heard in this movie. It felt like they were trying to do too much. They were trying to handle the supernatural realm mm -hmm. while also handling the uh, crazed psychopathic husband and tried to mash them together and it didn't fit. Yeah, so like it felt like they were trying to say that he was possessed, but how do you explain the stuff beforehand? Mm -hmm. So it was just like, it, it was like the two didn't connect, you know? Yeah. Like if they were living in that house the entire time and he was still doing this stuff while they were living in the house, then that would make sense. But see, at one point it looked like, okay, the wife was going to get help from the wife that was killed in the house. Exactly. I thought that was about to happen, bro. But the husband was helping the husband out after a while. It was like, you know, come on. It would have made more sense to have the story, okay, the the wife and the daughter can see the wife because it was a woman and they're being tortured in a way and they don't know it by the husband. Mm -hmm. And so she comes to help them. So honestly, I thought it was going to either be the husband waking up that he dreamt that he killed his wife or... The ghost was going to help her. I really and I thought all, all along when I, she just got asked. When she, when the ghost said, "I'm going to be here to protect you," or whatever it can be, I'm thinking the ghost is about to help, like do something to to, 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 to prevent this girl from getting brutally murdered, and she still gets murdered. I did not like the ending at all. I'm no. going to say this: one, they didn't even end with him getting arrested or nothing. No, they know he did it. Trying to prove it, but and then it goes off. But come on, like right, this man was doing too much killing out in the open. Yes, he then he ran a girl off the road. He knocked, but she did wind up waking up, so she's yeah technically good. He technically killed he killed the, the his boss because he found out that he was lying. Mm -hmm. And that was a stupid thing. I'm sorry, we out in the water. You already know he lies about stuff. Exactly. So I'm like, yeah. I'm a, I'll keep this under wraps for as long as I can, but I can't guarantee that it will stay under wraps because, you know, if I know other people are going to start poking around as well. Then you had the, the revealing of him stealing his cousin's identity. Yeah. Like, it was just, it, to me, like, I got the premise, but it felt like it was too over, too much all over the place. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, it didn't, it wasn't like, it didn't sink, you know? There was no, no. nothing no to connect it. No yeah. proper closure and no way to loop it all in. It just felt like we was trying to watch two different movies at the same time. I hold, wholeheartedly agree with that. I definitely feel like I was watching two different movies. And if, like I said, if the whole thing was him living in the house all these years and then being possessed the entire time, like with the killing, like taking his cousin's mm -hmm. identity, and that would make way more sense. You'd be like, oh, okay, well, this man was possessed by the demon in the house, whatever. It's just, it, it's not my cup of tea. Yeah. Or I would have thought that the neighbors would have came and saved them. Something. But nothing happened. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Netflix, for this to be one of your Friday movies. Well, not Friday, but Thursday. Weekend movies. Yeah, it was terrible. Oh, my gosh. I would have rather watch the, anime, the uh, kids movie for that Friday. <laughs> that looks more interesting <laughs> than this was. Listen, like I said, man, there's a lot of things that should have been unheard and not seen at all. This is one of them. This is your honest see no evil from with Kane. But that still had, like, you still understood that movie. That actually had a storyline. Exactly. Like, it was trash. But you like, oh, oh, okay. You know, I understand it. Like, it had a, it had a start, 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 middle, end. This, yeah. this one was too much. All over the place, in my opinion. 
Well, that's our opinion of this. What do you guys think? Do you find that this was basically two movies without an ending? Mm-hmm. Or did you actually enjoy this and like like the movie and understood it? Let us know what you guys thought in the comments below. And until next time.